Our lesson for today is a bit different. We'll be assisting you how to set up IRIS. IRIS is an extension that is used by many universities to invigilate an assessment or examination online. The requirement for IRIS is a laptop or a desktop and Google Chrome. So we, can use, we cannot use this extension on a smartphone or a tablet. We only use it, um, we can only integrate it on a desktop or a laptop. The second requirement is Google Chrome. We cannot use Opera Mini, Firefox or Internet Explorer. So we need Google Chrome and a laptop. The laptop or desktop must have a microphone and a webcam. Most of laptops they have those features or they have those devices the built-in microphone and also the webcam most of my students they are having a challenge to set up iris so this lesson video will actually assist you with that so the first thing that you need to do is simply open up your google chrome and then you might you will get actually you will get a page like this and then you simply click here and then you type iris and then you will see results like this so you can simply look at the url whereby it says chrome.google.com um, it's the web store of google chrome that's where you find a number of extensions so you can simply click here then you'll get to this page Iris, you should see this logo and then these are the snapshots of Iris. And then from here, you can simply click add to Chrome and then you, you add the extension. And then you will see something being downloaded here. It's okay. That is the extension. And then from here, you're good to go. You can see that it says remove from Chrome. So it simply means that your Iris extension was integrated onto your google chrome and then from here we can go ahead and check if it is working you can simply click in a, a new tab and then from here you can simply go to my unisa this lesson video it is specifically for unisa students so you click my unisa then it will, it will take you to this page whereby you have to fill in your credit your, your credentials and you simply click log in and then you will have something like this you click on my modules 2022 i know that this lesson video will actually work for a few years for the next coming few years but i believe that as long as we are still using the model which is this interface then everything should be the same it means let's say for next year we are going to have my unisa or my modules 2023 then when you click here, you'll have a number of um, your, your current modules. And then you click on Iris Prep 2022. And then it will take you here. Then we can use either the file upload or the quiz. We know that the examination can be two ways. Can be the assessment might be in two different ways it might be the file upload whereby you download the question paper you do it and then you upload the question paper i mean the answer sheet or you can do the quiz so let us just start with this file upload the moment you click here the iris should pop up and then you should click the agreement and the consent for the use of that and then continue hi i'm and iris the Intelligent Iris. Remote Invigilation System. I'm here to guide you through the process and to help ensure academic integrity in your assessment. Remote Invigilation is not about trying to catch you doing something wrong, but rather to remind you and your fellow classmates of the importance of maintaining academic integrity during assessments. Academic integrity means acting with the values of honesty, fairness and responsibility and is important to maintain your reputation and the value of your qualification. During your assessment, I will be recording from your webcam and microphone 
and capturing whatever is showing on your screen. So your first step is to activate a webcam by selecting from the list. Once a webcam is selected, you should see something in the panel below. Don't worry, no one will be looking at you through the camera during the assessment. However, staff involved in your unit will be able to see what you are doing when they review the recordings later. If you have more than one camera, choose the camera that will show your face from the front. Compare your image to the example here. Position yourself so that your head and shoulders are visible and take up most of the window as shown below. Try not to be too close or too far away. Make sure your face is easy to see. If your face is too dark, try shining a lamp towards you. If the background is too bright, close the curtains or shift your position so that there are no bright lights behind you. Ensure you are in a quiet location with minimal background noise, no music and where you won't be interrupted. I need to be able to hear everything that you hear and anything that might happen in the room, so you are not allowed to use headphones or earbuds. Next, we are going to confirm your identity, so enter your name and student ID into the boxes on screen. Make sure a webcam <coughs> and microphone are selected and then click the next button. And then from here, the whole tutorial how to set up the iris will pop up and iris will actually say, will take you through the, the, the tutorial. And then from here, you'll have to click the camera. Normally the camera will be your default camera. And then the microphone, you simply click the default microphone and then you insert your full names. Normally I put initials and the same name and then from here it will say the student number you insert your student number and then normally in this window this window it's where you will see yourself it's a webcam an image of your webcam you should be able to see yourself here if you can see yourself it means you've chosen the correct camera or by default if this window it shows your image then you don't have to click anything here it simply means that everything is just fine unfortunately at the moment my camera it's a bit it's having i'm having a challenge with my camera it's a bit down for now but you should be able to see yourself here and then once you are done filling in oh another thing which is very important here you make sure that you insert your student number not your id number if you insert your ID number, that is when you'll have a challenge of a password. Most students would say, Iris needs password. But if you can put your student number, automatically the password will be filled in. You don't have to insert any password. Once you're done filling in this, you can click Next. Now hold your student ID card in front of the camera. It should be close to the camera so that it fills the whole image. Click the Capture ID Card button to take a snapshot of your card. You can repeat this until you have obtained a clear image of your ID card. When you're done, click Next. In this page, which is step number two, we can see in this step number two, this is where you capture your ID card. Well, to be safe, you can capture your student card. Or I believe the ID card and also the li driver's license, it is acceptable. And then once you place your ID card in front of your webcam, you should see the image here. Just make sure that the ID card is visible enough and full on this window. And then you click capture. After clicking capture, you can, if let's say you've taken a the image it's not clear enough you want to capture again you can place it and click capture again and then the new image will replace the old one and then once you're done you click next now that i can see and hear you i will indicate that you're in the right position by drawing an outline around your face if i can't see your face the outline will disappear if this happens shift your position until you are clearly visible during the assessment if you are not clearly visible, the video frame will be flagged for investigation. Finally, we need to be able to capture what is showing on your screen. When you click the Start Invigilation button, you will see a pop-up window, like this example, showing all of your connected screens. It is important that you only have one active screen, the screen that is displaying your assessment. 
completely disconnect any additional screens. Once you have shared your screen, return to your assessment where I will enter the password for you. If the assessment is timed, your time will only begin when you start your assessment. When you have finished your assessment, I'll come back and explain the upload process. I hope this information was useful. When you are ready, click the Start Invigilation button to begin your assessment. On this step, this is the step whereby most of my students, they also have a challenge. You simply click OK, you come here, you click OK. And then from here, you click Start Invigilation. And then you will see this new window. This new window, this is where most of my students are having a challenge because you have to click share, but you can see the share button. It is, we cannot click it, it is gray. So in order for you to share the screen, remember that Iris also records the activity of the whole screen, what is actually happening here. Not only the webcam invigilating you, but it also track the, the, the screen, the activity of the screen. It actually records the activity of the screen. So what you have to do, this is your screen. You click here and then you can see the share button. It is blue now, and then click share. And then from here, you can see that the iris, it, it has started with the recording. And you can also see the instructions recording in progress. Then you should know that you can start with your assessment. And then you can simply click share, I mean hide. Don't click stop sharing, simply click hide, and then this window will be hidden. And then you can continue with your test, anything that you do. And then once you're done, if you go back to Iris, and let's say you're done with your uploading and doing everything, you can click on finishing or finish recording. Once you click finish recording, it will say, do you want to continue? Slide to the right, you simply have slide to the right, and then yes. Well done. And then you have finished your assessment. Remember that you need to wait until your session has completely uploaded. If the process is interrupted for some reason, you need to restart the upload. When it's done, this window will close automatically. See you next time. And then from here, you can see that the extension, it's uploading the recordings, it's uploading the files, it's, a re it's uploading everything. And then once it is done uploading everything, automatically it will close. And then let me just, after closing, just know that your recordings have successfully been uploaded. And then you are done. If you have any questions, you can ask me. And again, it is very important for you to have a stable internet connection because in order for the files to be uploaded, remember that it uploads a recording that took about two hours, let's say. So you can imagine that it's a big, it's a big file, including the screen, the recording of the screen activities and also the sound. So your internet connection should be stable enough and then everything should be fine. Like I said, if you have any problems, you can tell me. Thank you. That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you.